Hi everybody and welcome again to our series. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a contact card. So for example, from the customer's gallery, if we want to look at more details about a sales team member, we can just launch a contact card and see all the details that we need. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's look at how should be the final result. So here I have my application. I'm going to preview this application. And the idea is that from one of those icons, we should be able to open a contact card, right? You see this contact card with all the information regarding the person we just selected. Uh, we can click on any of those icons. And again, we are going to open the contact card. Um, the same will happen if, for example, we scroll down and see this specific customer and we click on one of these icons, the same result will happen, right? So that is what we want to shift. So let's go back to our original application. And the first thing we're going to do is add an icon. So let's go to icons and let's look at the information icon so i click here we have the icon added to the gallery and when we preview we see that this icon ha has been added to any of the items from the gallery right that's why it's important to select the gallery before adding the icon so let's resize this icon let's put a 20 for the width and 20 for the height Okay, and let's change the color. Okay, so so the color should be instead of this one by default, let's change by a green color. Okay, that's good. Okay. If we preview again, we are gonna see the same changes have been applied. Uh, we look at the same in any of the items from the gallery. Great. Now let's select this icon and let's rename the icon because by default it, it has a, another name. So let's put icon information. Um, let's add uh, icon information AE for the name of the role, which is going to be the kind of executive. Now we can copy this icon, um, control C, control V to paste and create a copy of that icon because actually what we want to do is basically uh, have this icon for each of the roles that we show in the gallery, right? So we can copy this icon several times and then uh, position the icon uh, next to the role, okay? And the same we need to obviously rename the each of the icons, this is going to be inform, icon information SS for the solution spe sale specialist and the same for the rest of the roles. Okay, now we can preview and we see that the changes that we have made have been applied for, to each of the items. Great. Now um, let's start creating the contact card. So the first thing we need to do is add a rectangle, okay? We have added one rectangle. Let's put the rectangle here. Now we are going to resize this rectangle. And let's change its col its color. So let's go to the fill property. And instead of that color, we are going to change to this color. Great. Now let's start adding the controls in the contact card. We need to add a label because each of the components in the contact card uh, are going to show some information regarding the contact. So in this case, this label will be for the full name. Okay, so now let's change the color. We are going to use this particular color. 
Okay, now we can see the this label, the full name. Um, we're gonna use a different size. In this case, let's put 20. And for the font, let's select the font property first of all, and let's change this property by using. Remember that we have a template screen, so let's use LBL UI point font to apply the the standard font we are using for the application right great now let's copy this label and paste here and this other label is going to be used for the role but this time let's change the color to white great and also let's change the size to 18 okay it looks better now let's copy this uh, label paste it here and use this label for the other data which is going to be the department and it's this time let's change the size for 16 now let's copy again this label and paste it here because this other label is going to be for the office location so let's write office by now and let's add another one for the email so we're going to copy this and put email here great the next thing we need to add is uh, basically the the picture so let's go to media and let's add an image and let's position that image here basically this is going to be for the photo of the contact all right so let's put the image here let's add the rest of icons in this case we need this icon to close the the contact card we are gonna uh, resize this icon here and position here and let's change the color to be white excellent let's change the size the width should be uh, 35 and the height is the same 35 now let's add a couple of additional icons we need an icon for the for chat for, for provide a message to the contact and another one for sending an email to the contact so we're gonna have that couple of icons here now we need to apply some some changes to the look and feel you see that we have we can select both icons and change the size I have the 51 for the width and 35 for the height and for the color, let's uh, change it to white. Excellent, and we just need to move those icons at the bottom of the contact card. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So now we have our all the components from our contact card. Now let's select all of the controls that are part of the contact card. Um, let's group those controls okay so i click here and then i click on group and now we have created a group of controls so we can manage the contact card as a one component right so instead of group one let's change the name to group contact card and for the controls also we need to change the name right so for example in this case it should be LBL full name the same for this other control it's important to rename all of the controls because we will need to do or reference those controls before so that's important so we will need to do the same for all of the controls here not only the labels but also the icons as you can see here I have already done that let's select now the group contact card but before of that let's look let's have a preview right we have here all the what we need um okay let's select the group contact card and let's go to the visible property by default it's on true but we're gonna change that 
to false. So when I change that to false, you can see that uh, the control has been hiding, right? So the idea is that when I click on one of these information icons, I should open the, the contact card. So to do that, uh, we're going to use uh, some variables. So I have selected the home screen and I'm going to go to the invisible property. And when this home screen is invisible, we basically are going to create or set a variable, right? So I'm writing this comment, creating a variable. And we are going to use this uh, method, which is the update context. And um, with this method, basically, we specify the name of the variable and we set a value to that variable. So the variable name is going to be click contact. And the value is going to be false by default. So when we open this screen, uh, we are going to set this value, this variable to false. OK, it's important to, to know that. Great. Now, let's go to the information icon and select the property on select. OK, so when someone click on that icon, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to do something similar. We are going to basically set the variable click contact to or contact click to true, right? So let's add again update context. And let's put contact click. Or click contact and let's put it to true. OK, so the idea basically this is going to be like a flag. We put it on false or true and that will determine if we want to sh show, show or hide the contact card. OK. Uh, we need to copy that uh, method, that function to all of the information icons. OK, let's save this by uh, to don't lose any for any of the updates. Now let's go back to the contact, the group contact car and in the visible bar uh, property, let's change the value from false to the name of the variable, which is going to be click contact. OK. So basically you can see, right, the, the, the value will depend on the variable click contact. So when I click on one of these icons, we are setting the variable click contact to, to true. That's why we show the contact card. Now, when I click on this icon to close, what we are going to do is basically just change the, the value of click contact to false, right? So I select the on select property and set the contact the click contact variable to false so let's put update context click contact and let's put false okay so now we can uh, basically preview Click on the contact information icon. OK, Hello. that was all for this video. In our next video, we're going to continue customizing the contact card. I want to take a moment to thank you all of you who have recently subscribed to my channel. Your feedback and comments are really valuable. So if you have any question or if you want to look at some specific topics, please continue commenting on the videos and don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Bye.